2011 Ultimate Builder Custom Bike Show in Novi, Michigan. We're talking with Jody Jenden of Reflections Polishing. Jody, take a minute and give us a little about information about your background, please. I've been a mechanic for about 11 years. I've been doing uh, building custom bikes uh, since I was a kid. Basically, own my own shop. Linda, Linda. She doesn't care. <laughs> Okay. Um, I own my own shop. Uh, been building since I was a kid. It's a passion I've had, a passion I love to do. Let's start from the beginning. Uh, what were you trying to accomplish with this build? Uh, when I bought the bike, I wanted to do something, a real eye turner. When I pull into a parking lot, I want everybody to see this bike. Uh, what's your vision for this bike? Basically the same thing. I like to turn heads. I've, every bike I've ever had has been something different, stands out in the crowd, and that's what I was looking for. Uh, let's talk about the fabrication. Okay. Um, basically, with the fabrication, we've, we've done everything to this bike. Uh, it's got 23-inch front wheel on it. Um, it's got the lowering kit. It's got air ride on the bike. We went big motor on it. It's got a nice 103, made 110 horsepower. Uh, it's not your typical low rider bagger. We can ride wheelies on this bike if we want. Um, we went with the, the, what you call the mini ape hanger handlebars, kind of give it that custom look up top. Uh, a lot of fabrication uh, even in the bags. We've got a six inch stretch in the bags. Uh, we elected to do different than everybody else. We didn't go with the exhaust system coming through the back. We went with a chopper style exhaust. Um, we also went with a Razor Tour Pack, which is a, it's a six inch chop from an Ultra Tour Pack. Uh, big thing on it is the electronics. Uh, we have 600 watt stereo system inside this bike and it has all the modern technology of Bluetooth and basically I can be driving down the road my phone will ring, my Bluetooth kicks in, I can talk to somebody going down the road hands free. Let's talk about the engine. The engine's a beast. For uh, 103 we made 110 horse like I said, 110 foot pounds of torque. It's got SNS uh, cylinders, got SNS heads on it. Um, we did a little bit of porting, extra porting to the heads. Um, some diamond cut, you know, get to catch people's eye when they're looking at it. How much time do you, and money do you think you have invested in the engine? Time wise, I'm in a ballpark of probably. I bet I'm at least 500 hours in For time. the engine? In, no, in the whole bike. For the whole bike, okay. Yeah, the whole bike. The engine, I have never really broke it down into pieces, but the whole bike's about 500 hours. Money-wise, the whole bike, 50 grand. Let's talk about the front end. What have you done to change that? Uh, we put a four degree rake in the trees, three degrees in the frame, swung it out a little bit so we could fit the 23 underneath there. We lowered the front end two inches because as you can see I'm not the tallest of guys so I need something low. Uh, and the back end, do you do anything other than the... Yeah, uh, the back end has uh, air ride to slam it on the ground. It also has um, stretched bags. It has a, we stuck uh, the 16 inch wheel instead of the 18 on this one to keep it as low to the ground as we could. Uh, let's talk about your approach to paint. Um, we wanted to go old school. You see all these bikes, everybody's got the same paint job. Single colors, some minor skulls and stuff like that. We wanted to go back to what I grew up with, with gold leaf, carbon fiber, stuff like that. We've got carbon inlays in it. It's just different, something completely different that doesn't look like every Harley in the parking lot. What was the most challenging aspect of your paint? The gold leaf, trying to get it to lay. You and everybody else. Yes. <laughs> Uh, who would you like to thank? Got a lot of people. I got my guys at the shop, which would be uh, Ken Yargo, Cortez Harden, and my painter, of course, Todd from Todd's Customs. He's the best painter in the business. It's hard to get him to do stuff quick. If somebody would like to get a hold of you, how would they do that? Uh, they can check me out on the web at uh, www.reflectionspolishing.com. There's a link to my Facebook on there. They can find us, you know, any jobs we've done. You can call us at the shop at 734-480-3148. Jody, thank you. Thank you.